Hello everybody, how are you all? I hope you guys are doing amazing. My name is Pritesh and I'm your host in Dose and your trainer for this particular course from Learn Me. And we are doing this amazing course uh, that is basic to advance from, you know, of Excel with the help of ChatGPT. We have seen that uh, in the previous sessions, we have covered all these eight topics that is some progressive left, right, dative, network, days, extra team name, names and we look up. Extending we look up to the next two topics, we are going to do sum if and count if in this particular session, right? So when I talk about sum if, basically, if I have got five different products, chips, fries, burgers, soda, chocolates, I've got their status different, approved or rejected and the quantity. And I only want the total quantity of the approved products, I use my sum if formula, right? So I need only the quantity of the approved products in total in my cell H4. Okay. So again, I'll go to my best friend called chat GPT and I will ask chat GPT for help as always. Right. So I just go to chat GPT. I'll show you my screen. All you need to do is go to www.chatgpt.com and start with <coughs> try chat GPT. It's absolutely free. So I'll just write the most clear prompt over here. Hello. I am new to MS Excel. Help me with a function to look up the value in cell. Now this is the place where I need, you know, this is the place where I need my value, right? So this is the place where I need my I have my exact status given. So I'll go back to Excel and see where my status is. My status is in cell G4. You can see over here, it is in G4. So I'll go back to my chat GPT and write over there. I'll continue with my prompt writing that help me with a function to look up the value in cell G4 in column. Now over here, I need to write the column where similar words are there. So again, I'll go back to my Excel and I will see where my similar range is given. So my similar range, like the range of approved or rejected is given in column C, right? So I'll again go to my chat GPT and continue writing my prompt that that will <clears throat> look up the value in cell G4 in column C and sum up the corresponding sum of the value in corresponding column. Now here where all my different quantities are mentioned which is my column D. So I just press enter and ChatGPT has been very very polite and it has given me my formula. So I'll copy the formula, go back to my Excel. And now this formula, I need to paste where I need the answer. I can paste it anywhere, but I need my answer here in H4. So I will just paste the formula here. Press enter and you have got the answer as 550, right? So all the total approved quantity is 550. So this is 200. 200 and 150 is 550. Suppose if I want my value here, I'll get it again as 550. Suppose I want my value here, again I'll get it as 550. So wherever I want my value, there I need to paste this. Okay. So this was quite easy. Now, if I give you sort of different data, okay. Say I tell you names, status, and num. Okay. So names are Joy, Roy, Toy, James, Thames, Rina, Tina. Okay. Their status is selected. Okay. Selected, rejected. Selected, 
rejected, selected, rejected. Okay. Now, I want and the number, the number say uh, they are going to carry a product. Okay. So, I put random numbers 43, 22, 11, uh, 11, I put 75, I put 33, I put, uh, you know, I put 20, I put 1 or say I put 30. So, now if I want to get, if I want to get the sum of the products that the selected members are going to carry, what am I going to do? I'll put the same formula. I know how it works. I just need to put the range, the corresponding value and where I want my answer. Selected, this will be sum if. So I want it from G13. So what I'll do is, I'll just change over here 13. Okay. And enter. So the quantity is 170. Because I put the cell here. If I put my cell here and I paste the formula, one why it is 550? Because it is copying G4. Suppose I make this G4 as G13. You see how the formula changes, how the quantity changes? It has changed to 170. So this is how you use the sum if function, right? I also immediately helped you with the data set. You can also get many different kinds of data sets from chat GPT itself. Now, moving on to the next one. That is the count if function. In count if, again, I need to get the approved quantity. Okay. So, what I'll do is I'll be a little smart. I'll go back to my sum if. I'll take the formula from here. Right. But here, what I'll do is I'll not put sum if. Instead, I'll put count if. Instead, I'll put count if. Here, I'll only get the number. Count if. This is again G. This is F. F4. Some, uh, you know, it has done some. Okay. So this is F4. I'll just change this to F4. I will make this as C is to C. Yeah. I don't have any D. I don't need any D. Right. Okay. So let me just see if I can write the formula on my own. Count if. So, okay. First will be my F4. Then. Oh, first is the range. So C is to C. F. And I got my quantity as 3. Because approved are how many? Approved are only 3. Just say I make it rejected. Quantity changes to 3. So uh, definitely you can use chat GPT for even this. But then a little smart work will save your time. Will make you do it more uh, quickly. And it will also you know help you a lot with dealing with lots and lots and lots of data. As smoothly and easily as possible. So these were the sum if and the count if functions that we did using chat GPT and that concludes our amazing 10 sessions that we have done using the formulas, right? So this was all about sum if count if. I hope you have liked it, but only liking is not going to help. What you need to do is you need to use uh, these functions with the help of chat, G chat GPT and you also need to practice a lot because Excel is something, it's like math. The more you practice, the better you get at it. Right. So I hope this was useful. If it was, make sure that you give this video a big fat thumbs up. Do share it with all your friends who are dealing with Excel, who are dealing with data and make sure that you subscribe to our YouTube channel. I'll be seeing you again. Till then, take care, keep watching, keep learning. Thank you so much.